Welcome to the exploration of a fantastic book that digs deep into the science of habit formation and its impact on our lives, The Power of Habit, by Charles Duhigg. This video is designed to give you a comprehensive understanding of the key takeaways from this transformative read. Charles Duhigg, a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter at the New York Times, meticulously uncovers the fascinating science of habits in his best-selling book. With a unique blend of scientific research and engaging storytelling, Duhigg reveals why habits exist and how they can be changed, providing valuable insights that can reshape both personal and organizational habits. Key point one, habit loop. First, we explore the concept of the habit loop, which is composed of a cue, routine, and reward. Duhigg suggests that any habit can be broken down into these components. The cue is the trigger that initiates the habit, the routine is the behavior itself, and the reward is the benefit or pleasure derived from the behavior. By understanding this loop, we gain insight into how habits form and how they can be manipulated. Habits, as Duhigg states, are not destiny. We can choose our habits once we know how. Recognizing the components of the habit loop provides the tools to interrupt and reshape our habitual behaviors. This understanding opens the door to transformation, allowing us to replace unhealthy habits with healthier ones. Key point two, keystone habits. Duhate introduces the concept of keystone habits. These are habits that, when changed, cause a domino effect, leading to the alteration of other habits. This insight is critical because it implies that not all habits are created equal. Some habits have the power to start a chain reaction, changing other habits as they move through our lives. By identifying and modifying these pivotal habits, we can enact comprehensive changes in our lives. Whether it's regular exercise, family dinners, or writing in a journal, these keystone habits don't just create isolated benefits. They can initiate a process that gradually helps other habits to fall into place. Key point three, small wins. Small wins is another vital concept presented by Duhigg. Small, Seemingly insignificant successes can compound over time to result in substantial positive change. These little victories build momentum and create a structure that favors the formation of new habits. The notion of small wins illustrates the power of incremental progress. It encourages us to take one step at a time rather than being overwhelmed by the enormity of our goals. It shifts the focus to the process rather than the outcome underscoring the importance of consistency and persistence. Key point four, willpower. Duhigg also investigates the role of willpower in habit formation. He asserts that willpower is like a muscle. It can be strengthened through practice. And just like a muscle, willpower can get tired if overworked, leading to what's known as decision fatigue. Hence, the more we exercise our willpower, the stronger it becomes. However, we must also understand that willpower has its limits. We must learn to manage it wisely, distribute our energy thoughtfully, and structure our lives in a way that conserves our willpower for the most critical decisions and tasks. Key point five, belief. Another pivotal concept from Duhigg is the power of belief. Our belief system can fundamentally affect our ability to make lasting changes in our habits. Duhigg posits that belief is a crucial ingredient in overcoming habit loops and making significant changes in our lives. Without belief, our attempts at change remain superficial and temporary. True, lasting change occurs when we sincerely believe in our capacity to transform our lives. This transformation goes beyond simply changing habits. It involves shifting our self-identity and sense of self-worth. Key point six, social habits. Next, Duhigg turns his attention to social habits, discussing how they influence both individuals and organizations. He proposes that our habits are not just shaped by personal experiences, but also by our social interactions and the cultural norms around us. This insight underlines the importance of surrounding ourselves with positive influences and cultivating a supportive social environment. This might mean changing our social circle or fostering a better work culture. Understanding the influence of social habits can help us make more conscious choices about who and what we surround ourselves with. Key point seven, golden rule. The golden rule of habit change, as Duhigg describes, involves keeping the old cue, 
delivering the old reward, but replacing the routine. This approach recognizes that it's hard to entirely eliminate habits. However, they can be modified in a way that maintains the familiar structure, but changes the behavior. The golden rule underscores the importance of substitution rather than elimination in habit change. By maintaining the familiar cues and rewards, but altering the routine, we can effectively transform our habits without feeling like we're starting from scratch. Key point eight, organizational habits. The power of habit extends beyond individuals to organizational habits. Duhigg discusses how companies can foster productive habits among their employees and how these habits can significantly impact an organization's success or failure. Understanding and harnessing organizational habits can lead to improved efficiency, stronger team cohesion, and higher morale. The principles of habit formation and change apply at all levels, from individual to collective, and understanding these principles can revolutionize how organizations operate. Key point nine, crisis. Crisis, Duhigg notes, can be a powerful catalyst for habit change. When we face a crisis, our usual patterns are disrupted, providing an opportunity for habit transformation. These situations, while stressful, can act as reset buttons, enabling us to break away from our habitual loops and establish new ones. By understanding this, we can use moments of crisis as stepping stones for positive change. While it's not about seeking out crises, it's about acknowledging their potential to disrupt established patterns and create a window for meaningful change. Key point 10, habit reversal. Finally, Duhigg introduces the concept of habit reversal. This technique involves identifying the triggers and rewards associated with a habit and consciously choosing a different routine. Habit reversal provides a practical tool for breaking undesirable habits and replacing them with more positive ones. This technique signifies the active role we can play in shaping our habits. Instead of being passive recipients of our habitual patterns, we can become active directors of our behavioral script. By employing habit reversal, we gain greater control over our actions and consequently our lives. In conclusion, the power of habit presents a potent exploration of the invisible scripts that run our lives. Duig teaches us that understanding our habits is the first step towards changing them. Once we can decipher the components of our habit loops, we can strategically intervene and reroute these loops towards more desirable outcomes. Keystone habits, small wins, the power of belief, social habits, organizational habits, and the potential of crises, among others, all come together to create a comprehensive understanding of how we can exercise control over our habits and consequently, our lives. This is not just about changing what we do. It's about changing who we are. The journey of habit change is a journey of self-transformation, of evolving into better versions of ourselves. This book serves as a roadmap for that journey, providing the tools, insights, and understanding necessary to shape our destiny one habit at a time. In the words of Charles Duhigg himself, once you understand that habits can change, you have the freedom and the responsibility to remake them. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey through the power of habit. We hope that the insights from this video not only help you understand your habits, but also equip you to change them. Remember, your habits are not your destiny. You have the power to change them and in doing so, change your life. Stay tuned for more enlightening explorations of thought-provoking books. Until next time, keep reading and keep growing.